Oh my goodness, look how cute she is. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Brenda from my Wee Wee Room's Cradle. And here I have one of my older reborns back when I, like back from 2015. He is a Nicholas kit by Pat Moulton. And I did, I named him Nicholas. He looks like a cutie Nicholas. He was reborn by, her name is Sandrine, but I don't think she reborns anymore. Um, she was a young adult when she made him, and in fact, he is one of her first few that she ever made. And uh, this little guy is bald. I'll show you him in a minute. But we are twinning today with Auntie Julie. Hi, Julie. So Julie also has this kit and i love him he has a little bit more hair and his name is brooks actually i think he has painted hair and it looks really good on this kit this little guy my little guy he is just bald and i'll move the camera and i'll show you a closer look oh look i like how it turned bright all of a sudden <laughs> now you can see him i'll be right back okay so this really cute hat. See, my guy is bald. Um, and isn't this... I love this sound. This is his favorite book in the world. Because <laughs> of the sound. Fun with shapes. So his theme color is light blue. And let's see if I can show you a close-up. He is on a three-quarter body back in the day when a lot of kits were three-quarter size. Um, oh, you can't see. And I might be heavy breathing because um, I'm getting a fall cold, which is not good because school is around the corner and they say that we're not supposed to be coming to work if we have cold. Like, how is that going to lay out? All the teachers are going to be. Anyways, now I did not reweight this guy because back when I got him, I didn't know how to reweight. Now that I do, I don't know if I want to reweight him because um, I'm so used to him being like this that I don't know if I want to change that but I never see he has his original like back in the day when before twist ties they had string I didn't even open him or anything but this is back like years ago she knew how to tip her nails, so, well, but yeah, I did not reweight him or anything. He looks a little poofy up here, probably because I've been, I've had him, I never ever reweighted him or distributed the weight, and this is like me because this is on a bit tight. <laughs> Look back in the day when I used to powder them, put real baby powder on them. Mm. It just smells like baby powder. And now that I know what I'm doing, the inside feels different. But it keeps moving. <laughs> Anyways. So, I brought him some fall clothes. Let's see, I'll probably take this off. Yeah, he has three-quarter limbs everywhere. Three-quarter arm, three-quarter leg. And that's what 
Oh. oh, he's so cute. He actually looks like my son Brendan. When Brendan was um, this age. Oh, he's cute. So, I brought up my uh, bin. I'm, I want to put him into like an outfit where... I can take him out, like in a car seat or something. So, this is his, actually his original. Let's see if I can get you higher. I'll be back. This was one of his original outfits. It's like, um, light. Well, it looks kind of grayish on camera. Well, it is kind of grayish. A grayish navy purple thing going on but with uh patches in the knee light blue and white striped and it comes with this long sleeved onesie top and it's by vitamins baby three month size and i do have socks these were his the original socks that came with this outfit it's also the same cute little monkey that's on his shirt or on these socks and I'm pretty sure it came with a hat too but I'm not sure I don't have a hat with me right now but so I'll put these on And Julia's little guy, Brooks, is wearing a light blue as well on her little guy. Now, because he is completely bald, I don't have any hair mohair to worry about. I bought two dolls from Sandrine and my other one is my Bethany which is the cuddles kit for Donna Rupert and I named her Bethany Grace. This little guy I named Nicholas Jameson. Nicholas because he actually does look like a Nicholas and Jameson is from the vitamins. I like Jameson vitamins. See, it fits him pretty good. It's three months. Three months I seem to sprout out. <laughs> Cutie. You know how some clothes you can share, like share between them? I don't know if I could share this outfit. This outfit is his signature outfit. Oh, <laughs> Well, I'm going to have to beat him up for a sec. Yeah, I can't reweight this guy. I can't. This is how I know him as. Okay, I do have this um, Teddy's Choice knitted, or <laughs> I don't know what you call this. It's not knitted, it's not crocheted, it's factory made, but it resembles a sweater. A light blue one. So, get him ready for outside. Yeah, and there's a bib that comes with this outfit too. I just remembered that. So I should do the top. Oh, can you see it? Oh, <laughs> I 
don't know what it is when the, when they wear like bulky jackets or snow suits. I don't know why it's, they seem even more cuddly. This fits him well too. Oh, his head is back. I don't have a pillow or anything. Oh, he is cute. And by the way, this cute thing. It rattles. And this cute thing. This is his other prop. Now, this is, I will. Okay, let's see if I get all these. Okay. He's so cute and so bold. <laughs> okay, let's see if he can stay there. I have this bin. This is my boy. <sighs> Mostly shoes, but I have a few booties I thought maybe he'd wear, but I don't know. I think I want him in shoes because he's old enough. Oops. This is, remember that pink set I had for... <clears throat> for Lauren, sorry, pick it up. For Lauren, I also have a brown set, but I don't know. I think I like to put shoes. Here's some other socks I thought would go. I have these booties and these booties, but I think I want like actual shoes. Now the ones I thought. These are cute. They're dark blue, navy blue, warm, cozy, um, booty shoe. I don't know. Or maybe a brown might work. Or this kind. Um, not this. This is green. I don't want green. That's that other match. These are too fancy. What's that other match? I have these booties. These are not the right color. They look too small. Red. I have these. No. I have, oh, and he's totally. <laughs> he's too tired. There's these shoes. These look cute. I don't know. Maybe. Well, these booties. I don't know. This might match them more. Okay, not those. Or these are brown. Got these. Oh, wait. These are girls. Oops. I threw them in the wrong bin. Or oh, there's. Did I show you these? Okay. I think the only match. Okay. He's going to fall right away. And I forgot his hat downstairs, so I might just put this one back. And even though it's summer, I do have my fall. I forgot that bin downstairs. But let's see what shoes might match. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. These ones, no. These ones, well, I don't know what the other one, but not really. So it's going to be these. Or these. Actually, I think I like these. These came with my, um, my Ariella sculpt, my sleeping Ariella. I always wanted the Noah kit. That was the very first kit I ever, ever wanted. The closest I could get is the Ariella. Mm. His match. I wish I brought his hat. 
This just doesn't match really. I wish I, I, I wish I would have got my fur hat. So, oh, he's so cute. I want I'll put him back there because I wanted to show you. I want to make him one of these, and this is already modified. I do have videos on how I use silicone in that. I will link it. And but this I want to use this for him, light blue, perfect. But this is using downy remember i don't know if you're in the community like years ago but there people were saying um they use downy with a bit of um vanilla uh, vanilla extract to make it like a but this is what happens to downy over time it hardens up and yeah it's like it's like a slime See, I did this on camera before. I did. See, it turns into like smells the same. She smells clean, <laughs> but yeah, it turned like into like this lotion, gooey, hard slime. But I need Kleenex. Now I'm going to show you a method. I use lotion and water. And you know, I've never ever had an issue over time with my lotion and water. It never molded. It never got hard. Um, if I added like vanilla extract to it, it would turn like it would. I'll be back. I'll show you. Okay. This one is my lotion and water with nothing else added and it's still really loose and it's fine it still looks like real milk i shook it up it's nice and liquidy still but that's with nothing added like but then i make the fake milk that makes it look like formula which you add um vanilla extract a bit now this is my lotion water and vanilla and it'll look like this this is in my mason jar i don't know if you can you see the but then when i shake it up it's all good again Yeah, and then it looks like formula milk all over and stuff. But then, yeah, you will get this ring around the top. That's from, I don't know what's in the vanilla extract to make it go like that. But I mean the lotion and water, nothing else. It stays like this at like pff, years. <laughs> there, I did a video once where I opened it. And check to see if there was any mold or nothing. There's nothing. No. It's fine. So this is how I use my lotion and water. And this has been sealed. So. I like using cold water. But like tap water. If I use the like warm or hot. You know how it gets that cloud. So this is clear cold water. Not super cold but. I just pour some in, if you can see that. I have videos on where I do this too. Do about this much. So I add my water first, nice and clear. Mm, no thirsty. And I have lotion. I used to sell Avon, so I have like a ton of lotion around. Lotion for me is inexpensive, but you could buy any lotion. And the best kind of lotion is a lotion that's already tinted. I think this is pure white. But it might be tinted. I have a French vanilla lotion that's tinted. But for him, he could use... And I just pour it in there. Hopefully you... 
And I don't know, I just eyeball it like this. Make sure this is on properly. I once had it on crooked and shook it and then leaked it everywhere. <laughs> then just shake it. And if it looks a little thin, which you can eyeball it, tiny, tiny bit thin. Yeah, and a little bit more. Oops. Sure, that is open. But I mean, you could buy dollar uh, lotion from the dollar store. Lotion is pretty inexpensive. Yeah, that's more like real milk. And it feels like oh, I remember making. I did make bottles for my real sons. Oh, this is exactly what I felt like. So there, that's my prop bottle. My prop bottle. He's happy. He's a happy boy. So anyways, guys, um, Julie, I hope that you have a great day. And everyone else, thank you so much for joining me. Check out Julie's channel of her books. And uh, I will link it somewhere during this video but thank you guys so much for being here and i hope that you're all doing well i'm doing much better thank you since my last video i did find some fun things to do so hope that you guys are having a great day i love you thank you so much for being here and until next time bye guys